Hi guys, so I am starting another vlog today. Uh, it's gonna be pretty chill. I'm going to the mall to drop off two of my rings to get polished. I mean, I hope they still do it even though I know it's COVID times, but Tiffany, usually when you bring in stuff, you can get it polished for free, if you didn't know that. Silver, gold, whatever it is, like they'll always polish it for free, but it always takes at least 24 hours for them to get polished. So I'm getting my infinity ring polished, the one with the rose gold. I'll put a picture of it somewhere here. And then this atlas ring that my mom bought for me when I turned 21. Um, yeah, I really want another one of these. I mean, I don't need it, but I love that they added like rubies or I think even some have blue on it. I'm not sure, but it's like this little atlas ring, which I love and adore. It's like slightly too big, but it's okay. So I'm dropping this off at the mall. And then I'm debating whether or not to get potato corner. I probably shouldn't. Most likely I won't. But yeah, hold on. Is somebody calling me? Oh, it's vibrating. Okay, no, it's fine. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you my bag of the day. I'm actually using my Celine Boston bag just because I have to go to Ulta to pick some stuff up. So I just want to chuck it in here. And then I have this little rabbit that I bought maybe four or five years ago. And honestly, this was such a waste of money. This was like... $90 or something I I'm crazy I don't know why um when I just got out of college because I graduated what 2015 I worked at this sushi restaurant as a server and the sushi restaurant that I worked at was relatively expensive to be honest so you would get a lot of people that had money and there was this one woman that would come in I believe she was either Chinese or Viet honestly don't remember at this point but she would always have a birkin bag okay and then she always had this like little rabbit thing and i thought it was the cutest thing in the world right this was before i really got into bag charms and stuff like that i mean i'm still not huge into bag charms but i appreciate them a lot more so then i googled it and then it's called like it's not famous anymore and then when i found out after i bought it then that's when i started researching it and then it kind of made me sad but basically this bunny is made out of mink which I know like there's a lot of like controversy around that but I didn't know that until afterwards but it's called the Copenhagen rabbit or something like that where they make this in like different colors they have this one with like gray ears and like spotted ones which I actually think are really cute I mean but nobody uses them anymore I rarely see anyone use it but I paid for this and like $90 like <laughs> it even comes with this little brush as well but yeah, so then I just decided to chuck in on this because this is the only thing that it matches with. Yeah, I don't know why that speech was so long. But yeah, so that's this little rabbit right here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're, we're gonna go to the mall. Um, I will be right back. I don't really need to be fair To be honest, I've been caught up in the deep end Where you want it, I've been rolling on a road So, kind of close though On the way home I've been Five bags and she keep tags Hairstyle, nails done But she checking for a waistband Tired times need faith, man But she been patient I've been rolling Downtown, stay focused Okay, hi guys. So I'm currently on my phone right now. Just wanted to update you. I'm inside the mall, and apparently, you need an appointment to drop off jewelry. <laughs> I didn't know that because I haven't gone into Tiffany in over a year for sure. So I made the appointment for tomorrow night. So that's kind of a shame, but I thought I would go into another store in the mall just to see if they have anything else. But yeah, so that was kind of a waste of a drive, but it's okay. Okay. This is life in the And if my girl stick around, then she probably get the Okay guys, so obviously I ended up getting potato corner. So this is what I always do when I go to the mall. I say to myself, if there's a line at potato corner, I'm not gonna get it. And if there's no line, I'll get it. And there was no line. So I got it. I also ended up buying so much underwear but let's just go back to the car really quick because I don't feel like you can hear me because the music is really loud okay so I made it back into my car so like I was saying if you guys couldn't hear me 
at the Tiffany location here, you have to make an appointment. Well, I'm assuming all Tiffany's you have to make an appointment. So that was the only reason why I came to the mall today. So I decided to walk around a bit. And then I decided to stop into pink and I purchased... Do you see how long this receipt is? <laughs> this is all underwear. I have 15 pairs of new underwear. And obviously I'm not going to show you. My personal favorite, if you guys are just wondering, I really like the seamless like slash cheekster ones. Um, or like the seamless thongs basically. I wear a lot of leggings and I mean a lot I'm not trying to be like obnoxious about it it's just when you have like really big thighs like pants <laughs> and jeans are really not my favorite thing to wear uh, I really also like leggings because it like sucks in your stomach so there's that but I wear a lot of leggings and I don't know about most people I actually googled this the other day and I was like when do <laughs> most people buy new underwear I looked it up on Reddit and a lot of people were really funny. They're like, when you get holes in it, that's when you toss them. I haven't bought new underwear in about like three to four years. May, like, I don't count skims really because I don't buy like their underwear, right? Like bras and stuff are different. But actual underwear, like everyday boring underwear, when is the last time that I bought a pair? Like three, four plus years ago. I just I don't it's just underwear you know what I mean and obviously like that's different from like lingerie and stuff like that how long do most people buy new underwear right guys and girls but I guess with girls I don't know I just I know back in high school like way back when when pink was really really big like starting out like everybody bought new underwear all the time because it's like oh look how cute this design is but as I've gotten older I really don't care all I want is for my underwear to be comfortable and you can't see it through pants that's it because even with other types of underwear like the comfortable thick ones non seamless or even lace underwear like lace thongs you can see them through leggings you can't see lace through jeans but you can definitely definitely see lace underwear through leggings which is why I don't actually wear a lot of my lace underwear anymore I just wear seamless because it just uh, it just smooths everything out you know what I mean so I finally restocked I probably won't be buying underwear for another 15 uh, not 15 sorry I bought 15 new pairs of underwear and I probably will not be buying new underwear for at least three to four years yeah but now I can restock I need to go home and wash them I'm not gonna show you what I bought but I just bought a bunch of different colors I think I bought only two pairs of lace just you know for one of those days but everything else is just for my comfortable every day-to-day -day life because even Calvin Klein underwear, like let's be honest, you know the huge like the briefs trend, I bought those. But I never wore them because I don't like to sleep in my underwear. I know some women do and that's great, but I really don't. I need clothes to sleep in. Like that's just strange to me. And the Calvin Klein briefs, um, I'm not saying they're not, not comfortable, but I don't know, the waistband is just so thick. And you can't wear those under leggings. Like you can clearly see the like not line of demarcation it's not like a foundation but you know just like the the lining of the underwear if you wear calvin klein briefs with leggings you can see it and i don't like that look for me personally so my mom actually just texted me and she wanted me to go pick up this kind of like middle eastern food place so i'm gonna pop by over there and then i have to go to the bank and go to ulta which is the main reason for this whole errand running trip uh to go pick up some new products so Going through the mud even if it don't stick Don't switch, she gon' ride till it don't fit Don't quit, I'ma pay for all my own sins Through the COVID Through the late night drives Through the motion Through the hotel nights And I'm homesick Thinking I could hold it Okay guys, so obviously Different location, another mall So I finished picking up Oh my god to even show you this is kind of a hard thing but i got my mom's it's like it's like halal guys but it's not halal guys and then i got some agua fresca too i got a mango thing oh doesn't tell me that doesn't look good because it's summer now so it's mango season i'm just gonna open it for you and show you who needs to see a makeup palette when you have a freaking mango with tahina and lime oh my god it looks so sweet so sweet and then i got three agua frescas um i don't want to like grab it just because there's so many but i'll show you 
look at like all my food and I just like shoved all my stuff on the floor but so they have their flavor of the month is passion fruit guava and pineapple which sounds divine for tart lovers like me um, I got a mango one and then I got my brother a mango pineapple one but let's try this one so let me just try it really quickly I love agua fresca like so much so this one is the flavor of the month so it's passion fruit guava and pineapple like I said Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So if you like really tart things, I would totally recommend this flavor. Normally my go-to would be guava, pineapple, and mango mixed together. But a lot of places don't have just guava. So I usually get like mango, pineapple. But then it's like, every time you ask for half-half, they always give you 75% of the first one that they decide to put in, and then 25% of the second one, which is kind of sad. But you no, know, what can you do? Okay, so now I'm gonna go to Ulta and pick up two products that I ordered online and then uh, we can head home. So I just walked into Ulta and I actually already ordered something online so I just need to pick up but I'm actually looking to see if they have any of the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics at this Ulta because I know it's only at some of the Ulta. Oh well, right when I turned the corner I found it. Let me show you that. Try balancing it, but my baby, she don't fit Try balancing it, but my baby, she don't trip Try packing it up, but my baby, she don't dip But she want the closeness, I be on my own shit If you want it, let me find out I be going crazy every time we on a timeout Tell me, baby, where you ride out? You know that I be there Oh, this is pretty weighty Like, it's actually pretty heavy I really want to try this one, but they don't have it. Okay, so basically everything is sold out. Well, everything that I want is sold out, but the majority of everything is sold out. Because all the highlighters that they have available are the darker ones, so that's unfortunate. Mmm, sad. Okay, yay, so I got it! Mm. Okay, so still on my phone, I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what I got. So, well... I'm gonna fake tan tonight because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I needed a new NARS concealer just to match my skin tone when I do fake tan. So I got it in the shade Ginger, which is the medium two shade. I'll just show it to you because who doesn't love watching somebody unbox anything? But yeah, it's just your signature NARS one. So, and then, because a lot of my concealers are a little bit too light or like it matches me perfectly right now or it's too dark so and then the second thing i got was honestly the main reason why i even went to ulta was to get the anastasia brow freeze brow styling wax wow it's really hot i need to turn on my ac asap <laughs> so everybody have been talking about this for like three months I believe so I'm super late to the train and I've been wanting to try the original soap brows like the original one in that little tin canister for months like maybe even a year but I just I don't know why I just never brought myself to bite the bullet and buy it which it was like $26 and I just don't know like I really didn't know but then this had amazing reviews it was sold out at one point and they finally restocked it so I was like you know what like let me just give it a go so it's like this really cool rose gold packaging like this and then I'll just open it I like the size wise it's pretty big if you have the Anastasia dip brow it looks bigger than that and then yeah, it's just this clear wax. So I'm actually going to test it out when I go home because I know that most people say you're supposed to use this on naked skin. So no foundation, no nothing, like no product. Like you do your brows first and I never do my brows first. I always do my foundation first. So I just want to try it my way. So I want to put it on top of the product that I have now kind of as like a final step, even though people say that this is better to use as the first step. So we'll just see, but I'm going to test it out when I go home. So that's going to be really exciting. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go home and then I'll demo this out. Hi guys, so we are back in my room. So I thought we would just do kind of like a live testing of the... Oh my gosh, I didn't even take it out of the bag. The Anastasia Brow Freeze. Hold on, let me go get my headband. 
So I always put this headband on when I do my makeup. I swear to you, I actually started doing this because I started watching Kathleen Lights' videos and she would always put her hair up when she did her makeup in a headband. And I personally have always done my makeup with clips, but clips do dent or it'll add kind of like a wave to my hair. Sometimes I don't really want it. I want to keep my bangs completely straight. And then I started using a headband and I'm like, wow, this is life changing. I used to have this other wired headband, but it really hurt my temples. But anyways, besides that, so I've watched a couple videos on this. Um, so let's just give it a go. Maybe I should watch a video as a frame of reference. Hold on, let me look one up really quick. Okay, so I just finished watching the video. So yeah, you're supposed to use this on naked brows, like I said, but I just want to see if I can put it over stuff because day to day, I actually don't use a pencil. I either use my dip brow or I use, what do I use? Eyeshadow. So right now I have dip brow on, so I just want to see what it would look like to go over the dip brow just because I don't know about you guys, but I love the look of hair like strokes on your brows but i do not have the time or patience to do that i even bought the anastasia i think it's called like the 7b or 8b brush because i saw this one girl on youtube a beautiful creature and she just did like the hair like brow strokes and it looks so nice and then when i tried to do it i just i don't have the patience for that hence why my brows look the way they do i just too much i just need to fill it in and we're good to go but i do like about this at least conceptually, is that I do know that the original soap brows, you actually had to squirt it and wet it to make it, whereas this one is literally just a clean spoolie. So literally, do you see the, like, no joke, okay. So all, oh wow, it's like really thick. Cause you know how if you watch the soap brows, anyone that does soap brows, they're really just like shoving it in there. But this is pretty thick. I'm gonna just start off with a little bit. I won't even time lapse this. Oh wow, this is a lot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> ah, so let's just see. I'm just gonna brush it up first, kind of shape it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Hold on. This is my bad brow because when I was in high school, I had vitiligo. I mean, I don't know if that gets cured, but I have vitiligo on the beginning part of my eyebrow. And then I used to have it. I had a couple spots on my face. So this part never went back to normal, but the other parts of my face, it did. Do you see like the length of my brows right now? Do you see that? I mean, I don't have the most hairy brows but you know you gotta work with what you got with these asian jeans sorry i just put a little bit of lip balm because i was like why are my lips so chapped i used the floral coral by the new mac black cherry collection cutest packaging of life this is what my brows look like i love it <laughs> i love it i love it i love it and it's super super quick i really have nothing else to say because when alana davidson was doing it you could see her face, she was like, that was so quick. And then I literally put it on and it just, it just adds like the slightest bit of definition, especially when you don't have a lot of brows, but it makes it so much featherier. I wish I can see it in person, but wow, I really, really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna try the brows again tomorrow before I go get my hair cut and I'll probably do it on naked brows or just like a naked face just to see if there's a difference. But oh, I love it. I love it. That's a 10 out of 10 first impressions right there. And then also really quick, since I did buy a new concealer, I thought I would just show you guys the rest of my concealers. I was thinking of doing a makeup collection video but I don't know, I've downsized my makeup a lot from when I was in college. I used to be all about like consumerism, buy every single thing that comes out, Sephora, newly arrival section, da 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 da. And now I'm really just trying, in terms of makeup, I just really want to do some like tried and true products. So I'm trying to use up everything that I bought recently, or not recently, like bought within the last couple of years. But so this is the new concealer that I bought in ginger so this is probably gonna match me perfectly when I fake tan but I thought I would just show you I guess a concealer collection video so these are all the oh these are all the concealers that I have in this drawer 
Let me swap out the camera just so you can see it. Alrighty guys, so I don't know if this is a strange angle, but I thought I would just show you guys all the concealers that I have. So like I said, this is my new NARS one. I used to have the NARS custard, but then I used it up and then I just threw it away. So obviously you guys know, I have two Rare Beauty concealers. I have it in the shade 250 and I have it in the shade 230. So this one I use for underneath my eyes and then this one I use for all over my face. So I think the really cool thing about the Rare Beauty is the applicator. They have this kind of like slanted dome, which is really cool. And I really just love the packaging. Super, super easy to use. This is super old. Do you guys remember when um, Fenty just launched their makeup products? They just had the sticks and the foundation. So obviously I bought the Trio sticks. This is it in bamboo. It's a very dry texture concealer. And I honestly don't use this one that much. But on nights that I do go out, I actually use this concealer to carve out my brows. But on a regular day-to-day, -day, I never carve out my brows. But I put this only on nights out. And then these are our recent purchase as well. Bought this a couple months ago. I have the two hourglass concealers in the color Fawn and the color Beach. Um, I have the Kosas concealer. I got this, I think... What was it? A Christmas present, I believe. I think I got this as a Christmas present. Um, it is in the shade 6. Really, really love this concealer for every day. Love, love, love. I definitely want to get more shades when it goes on sale. <laughs> um, so I have a couple concealers that I use specifically for underneath my eyes. These are all my under eye concealers. So I have the Tarte CC Concealer. I no joke bought this because of Alana Davis. A majority of all my makeup products I buy because of other people, <laughs> being honest with you. And then obviously the Tarte Shape Tape. I actually haven't used this one that much recently just because it's a pretty full coverage, but uh, I do use this for underneath my eyes when I do go out, but obviously I haven't been going out recently. Yeah, I have this one in the shade Light Medium Honey, so it's lighter, but it's a little bit kind of pink tone to help cancel out any darkness under my eyes. This one I'm actually almost out of. It is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I bought this because of Kathleen Lights, of course. I had the original one before um, before they repackaged it. Yeah, it was super thick, but I actually really, really did enjoy this. But yeah, I'm almost out of this. There's basically no product that comes out. I think I can use this for maybe like two more weeks and I probably have to toss it. But yeah, I actually really like this one as well. And then I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Light as well. I use this underneath my eyes. I use this basically for work underneath my eyes. And then this one as well as the Josie Mare and Vibrancing Concealer. I bought this because of Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> I could probably tell you every person that told me to buy this. Um, like the Hourglass Concealers, I bought because of Claire Marshall. <laughs> um, this one, Jaclyn Hill. Oh, the Bare Skin one, um, Shannon XO and Hailey Bieber. That's why I bought it. Jouy Concealers, bought this because of Kathleen Light. I have both of these shades. This is a great, great concealer, but it is full coverage. I have it in Dolce du Leche, and then I have it in Creme Brulee. So obviously you can tell the shade difference. This is for um, my normal shade, and this is for when I'm fake tanned, like really, like freshly fake tanned. So that one's pretty dark. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one just because so many celebrities on like those Vogue or Bizarre videos, they use this one. I honestly really like the product, but I can't stand the applicator. And my reasoning, it's not because of the hygiene thing. I mean, that bothers a lot of people. It's just the applicator on this. I don't know for me, I don't know if I got a defected one, but it just, it doesn't dispense as well as other people do in videos. So that kind of bothers me. Um, yeah, it's just really, really annoying. But at least you get to see how much stuff you have left. But yeah, I hate the packaging, but I love the product. I also have the Fenty Concealer that I bought last year. This one is in shade 220. And then, almost done. I have three Glossier Concealers. I have their new reformulated one when they redid the shade name. So I have it in G7. And then this is pretty old. I probably should toss it soon. I have it in Medium. And then this is a backup of my old ones, but that one's basically new. And then this one's super old. So this one I'm basically done. You can see the bottom of it. I probably should toss this. There's literally almost nothing left. So these are my glossy concealers. And then the last one, I bought this because of Whitney Simmons. She said it in one of her favorites videos like last year or two years ago. But she said that this concealer was better than Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I disagree. I'm... It just didn't work for me. It really just, 
I don't know, I think my skin is just really particular when it comes to concealers because I get really a lot of texture and a lot of dry skin. I really like the packaging, but it just it didn't I did not get on with this, but I just can't bring myself to throw it away since I barely used it. So yeah, these are all my concealers. If you guys want me to do like a blush segment, maybe every video Every vlog coming up, I'll do like one portion of my makeup collection instead of one makeup collection. Give me a thumbs up or in the comments and let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. So, yeah. Baby girl told me something I don't know that you know. Baby girl told me something I don't come and Something